Yeah, it's like on the normal roads, you have some idiots driving around and uh, it yeah, seems that there's also one driving here. What's up guys, it's Ben here. We are bringing you a brand new series. This is the Cucumber Challenge, the Career Mode Championship, Rust Start in a HRT, trying to score a point. So, um, it should be a fun adventure and I hope you guys can stick with me till the end. But, um, yeah, as you can see, I had a pretty abysmal qualifying. Speaking of qualifying, let's have a look at the highlights. Now, this is in Q1 here. I'm just doing my first lap here and then I have a cucumber moment and I just lose the back end and then Bruno Senna clean hits me in the gearbox. So, I'm very sorry to Bruno Senna about that. But, coming to the end of the qualifying session, this is my final run of the session. I was uh, looking good for a, uh, a Q2 spot here, but just on the line I just fell short and I did a 128.7 something. I was only like two thousandths away from getting into Q2. So I'm absolutely livid about that. But um, Q2 will have to wait for another race. But anyway, back to this race. I am racing as Narain Karpakayan, the cucumber himself. But um position 18 in this race. I'm going with the option tyres. What fuel strategy are we going to run? We're going to go with the cautious fuel strategy. Um, the aim of this game here is much different to what I would normally do in my other career mode series in the Ferrari. So um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to be really aggressive on the first lap and get up the field as fast as possible just to have track position to defend for the rest of the race. So um, it should be much more exciting in that aspect and um, I'm sure you guys would love to see me um, try and defend some positions. So um, here we go, the start of a new career mode and it should be something special. Alright, here we are. The start of a new championship. I am Narain Karthikan, the cucumber himself. Look at my helmet, it's all green and peachy. Here we go, four red lights, five red lights, and we are away in Melbourne, straight up into fast. Let's crowd Schumacher there on the left so he can give us that position, but it doesn't look like it's worked. Now it has. We're going to have to dive to the inside to get as many positions as possible. Oh yeah, nice dive there. We're up to the 13th now. Now we've just got to continue this momentum and get up as far as possible just to get up into the points. It's our only chance of scoring points in this championship. Have to make it now. Someone's lost their wing. I think it might have been Deresta. We're going to go up the inside. We're up into 9th, 8th, 7th. Oh my god, look at all these positions we've gained. Can we get Massa as well? We're going to have to take him as soon as possible. There we go. We got 6th. That is amazing. Have you ever seen a HRT in 6th place? I've never seen it, so we're making history here, lads. But anyway, it looks like Grosjean has got too much of a gap on me, so he's going to pull away, and uh, it looks like I'm probably going to have to settle for sixth place at the very best in this race. So I'm um, just looking to consolidate this spot, but this HRT is uh, just a pile of crap, really, so I'm going to have to defend for the rest of the race and just hope that no one undercuts me or overcuts me over the course of this race. So um, track position is absolutely key in this race. But skipping to lap two, and it looks like Grosjean and someone else are squabbling. This has allowed me to catch up massively. I'm going purple on lap two, but that doesn't mean squat because no one set a comp competitive lap time yet. And I'm um, going straight up in a fast. Grosjean breaks slowly, and now Rosberg is going slowly too, so I'm going to grab both of them. HRT is up in a fourth place. Have you? Oh my god, this is unbelievable. I'm, I'm just waiting for the moment when this HRT car just breaks and falls to bits because HRT shouldn't be in fourth place. A HRT shouldn't be anywhere but last. Really? But um, here we go, lap five. And we're going to have to defend here from Rosberg, who looks pretty uh, edgy on me. He's going to get past me with DRS, but I sort of crowd him a little bit. But, um, oh, he actually, actually backed out of it. I, I crowded him, but I left him just enough space to get past, but he didn't want to take the move. But now Grosjean is uh, right behind me now, and how's he going to go against me? Is he going to go up the inside? I don't think he is. Once again, the AI just don't seem to be um, 
aggressive enough to take the pass, so I'm just going to hold on to fourth place for now. Thinking about a pit stop anytime soon, and yes, we are lap six. I'm coming in now for my prime tyres. I can only hope that all the rest of the field comes in too for their stops, because if they overcut me like Grosjean is doing now, they could possibly put in a good lap and then jump me uh, by the time they stop. So look at all these cars in the pit lane. Um, all these teams out, so that's good for me because I'm going to jump them hopefully. I just need, I need a good stop from HRT. I can't afford a shit stop. Here we go. How many seconds? One, two, three, four. 3.4 seconds. That's better than Ferrari. That is brilliant. That is actually the best pit stop I've had in Carimo probably, and it was from a HRT. Can you believe that? But anyway, coming out of the pits, it was still in P10, lads, so we're doing well. The worst we're going to finish in this race is 10th if we hold on to it from here. Oh, skipping to the end of lap 7 and Hulkenberg has lost his front wing there. He's going really slowly. So hopefully he can act as a roadblock to block the cars behind. Let's have a look behind and yeah, he's slowing them up quite a bit. But skipping to lap 8 now and a few more cars have come out of the pits and I'm in P7 so I've lost a few positions to the guys who stayed out a little bit longer. They've jumped me and looks like that's Lewis Hamilton up ahead. Probably uh, Romain Grosjean is in front of him too so... Um, if I have any chance of getting past Lewis, it's going to have to be now while his, while his tyres are still cold, mine are up to temperature, and um, you know, I've just got to make the most of it really, but it looks like he might be too far away he is, but um, I surprisingly got DRS here, which um, was actually crucial crucial in the, in the context of this race because it allowed me to stay with them somewhat as someone else came out of the pit lane and now I've got, because of the double DRS zone, I've now got another set of DRS uh, up my sleeve for this straight so I might be able to sneak up the inside if he goes slow enough, yes he does, I'm gonna lunge him down the inside I sort of plow under Rosberg but I didn't barge him off too much but Hamilton was squeezed wide and he just, his front end plate just blew off really <laughs> I was only rubbing it up against the side of his car but it just decided to fall off as you do. But anyway, we've got Nico Rosberg here on the cold tyres. Can we get past him? We're going to have to make the move up into turn 9 here, I believe it is. Are we close enough? I'm going to have a look, but it's the gap is too too much. And it uh, looks like Nico Nico's tyres are going to come up to temperature now, and he's just going to bolt away. We're skipping to lap 12 now, and yes, he has bolted away. I'm in P6 still with Felipe Massa right behind me. It looks like there's a car stopped off the side there. That's Rosberg. So he's had a problem there, and he is out of this race. So that gives me P5. That is outstanding. Another two points for me, potentially, so far in this race. But here we are on lap 13. We've still got Hamilton behind us. Grosjean is in fourth. He's having a good race. I hope he... Um, just absolutely screws it on the last lap, but I've run wide and that allows Hamilton to get through. That was just a stupid mistake there. I've just given up a position, another two points. I can't afford to have too many of those over the course of this race because there's a massive train behind me and Mark Webber has taken out this race win, the first of this career mode championship. And um, yeah, I've held on to position six quite nicely. I've got Paul DeResta right behind me. He's closing in pretty quick. And he might have DRS on me on the run up to the final straight. So I'm going to have to watch out for that. Just making sure that I get a good exit off these final two corners. And I should be fine. But anyway. Position 6. We're, gonna, we're going to score some points today. That's absolutely crazy. That's crucial for our, our championship standings. I can't believe it. In our very first race we have taken points. Paul DeRest is coming up closely. Oh my god. Did he pass me? Did he pass me? Oh, he passed me! What a bastard! I don't believe it! Just got nabbed at position 6 over the line, but I don't care, I've got points! Oh my god, I'm gonna faint. Really? That's it? Engineer should be going ecstatic because I scored a point. The first time in HRT's history. No one will ever match that. Where's our teammate? He's 22nd. The only dnf -er of the race was Nico Rosberg. So, we've got on the board pretty early here. I've got the uh, the old monkey off my back, so maybe I can move on to bigger and better things. Maybe uh, look at claiming the title from now on. But um, I hope you enjoyed this first episode of the Cucumber Challenge, the first of this career mode series. I'm not too sure if I'll get it done before F1 2013, but I'll try my best to get as far as I can. But I hope you enjoyed the episode, but until next time, I'll see you later.